Wow, um, being a fan of the camera is so nerve-wracking. Uh, I'm not sure if you can see my hand. I can't really see myself. I'm recording with the backside of my phone camera. But yeah, this is my mic for today. Welcome, welcome. My name is Gugu and I'm a graphic designer. I do illustrations and design. In today's video, I will be designing a logo for my best friend's baby shower. So you're asking yourself, does a baby shower really need a logo? Not really. But the thought behind it was that we needed a theme. And with the theme, my brain said, hey, create a brand identity for the baby shower. So here we are. I'm going to be creating a brand identity for my best friend's baby shower. And the theme for this baby shower is mother to be. <laughs> yeah. So let's go make this logo. So we're starting off with the mood board, which I already created. Um, these are just basically the ideas I was thinking about for the mother to be like um, bees, colors, you know, illustrations and fonts as well. Yeah. So we're going to take a look at the colors up at the top. And those are the colors I'm thinking of using as well as the fonts. So we're going to take our little mood board and put it into our actual design file. So I can have a look at it while I'm designing the logo itself. I've picked my fonts and colors, so I'm going to be using these. Uh, maybe in my next video, I'll show you how I actually pick colors and fonts, but the colors, I basically pick them from my mood board itself. And the fonts, I pick them online. Um, they were free, so there's different free places to get fonts, but these are the three that I liked from um, the fonts that I found online. So we're going to duplicate these fonts in case I want to go back to them, but I'm going to start with the one on the left and see how I can play around with the fonts. I'm going to move them around. Um, separate each letter as well if, and then see where they fit nicely into a, a cute little logo design. Now I'm going to create an icon for the logo. I'm thinking a B obviously because mother to be. Uh, yeah, this shape, I don't know what shape this is, but I'm going to play around with this. And then I'm creating wings with the brush tool. I'm just going to draw it myself um, and I'll see what works. Cool. So I think we're done with the logo. I'm going to place it onto the logo type and see how that works. I think those wings are a bit too thin. So I'm just going to make them just a little bit thicker and then duplicate this one wing and then place it on the other side. And I think I want the B to face the logo type itself. So that's what we're going to do and then move on to the next one. So with this um, logo type, I really, really like this one. Same situation here, I'm going to play around with the letters, move things around, I want them to touch as well, I don't know, it feels like that could work, but I like the, the non-structured uh, placement of them. Yeah, 
yeah so i'm gonna create the other bee i'm gonna work with a slightly different shape more oval like and then yeah just to see if this would work with with this logo type i'm also creating different types of wings the first ones will look like hearts these ones are going to be suggestions of wings so obviously we're going to have the the first wing and then the under wing underneath but we're going to make that a line yeah so i'm just going to thicken them these lines and yeah i like this it's more of a suggestive wing than an actual wing shape but yeah let's see let's make our like um black and white stripes for the b and then we'll see if this works Yeah, so we're done with the B. I'm gonna just place it on the logo and I really don't think we need another option. Um, I'm gonna delete this and then just work with these two and see which one works better. Yeah, so I'm gonna try and see if I can make a variation. I'm gonna use the ears and just uh, put in the O there. Look how cute that is. Like, come on guys. Yeah, so I'm just seeing a bit of like kerning issues um but yeah it's part of the design process i guess let's see um how we play around with the second one i'm thinking of maybe cutting the b into half uh seeing how that works i don't know just playing around with it yeah so i'm gonna use like an outline of it and see if that works um I don't like it at the top so i think the bottom that kind of works but maybe on the side it would work but it also looks weird mm. nope 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 i think i found the option option two option two i don't know what you guys think but it's option two so let's work with these two um, the main logo with the B and then the secondary logo with the ears. Yeah, so I think now we can move on to the pattern. We can make honeycombs because it's bees. <laughs> Um, yeah, so I'm just gonna play around with honeycombs look at it at my reference and Yeah, I'm gonna use like yellows and stuff, but for now, let's just create the honeycombs and We'll see after that Yeah, let's turn this into a pattern now. Um, yeah, just play around. But I think oh, that doesn't work. We're going to just use one of them and make a pattern out of that. Which could work better. yeah i think this is a, a good space to leave it at so we've got our pattern here i think maybe i can create another pattern i don't know if this is going to work once i put it in color but i tend to design in black and white first before i add color because it works better i don't know how everybody else feels but it's it starts to work better when i start with black and white and then ending off with the colors themselves but oh i like that that that's yeah black and white b <laughs> yeah so i'm gonna play around with like 
making flowers to go with the, the, the bee in the pattern. Maybe I'll put some, some weird circle things. Yeah, maybe some leaves or whatever. But let me concentrate on the flower first <laughs> before I get distracted. I think that's too many petals, so i um, just going to reduce the amount of petals that are on there. Yeah, that definitely works better. Let's move on. I'm going to create a little circle. And then the leaves that I was talking about. Right, so I think we're ready to color in our honeycomb. I'm gonna use that yellow and orange. See which one works. I'm trying to see if that um, shine could have a color, but I think it works great with white. And then, yeah, I mean, that kind of works. I don't know. But yeah, time to color in the logos themselves, which I'm quite excited about to see this come to life, finally. I think the B will be the only part of this that actually has color, but let's see if the logo type would work with color as well. But I'm liking this for now. I think after coloring in the B, we can move on to the invitation. So yeah, so we're going to just place the copy on here. Um, you will notice that the copy is bee themed. We have things like, have you heard the buzz? And another little honey is on the way. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> anyway, I'm looking for the right font here. Looking for fonts is like the hardest part of creating anything at this point any design when I create designs but when I do find a font I just work with it I think this one is nice and playful so I'm gonna use that the date I've used isn't an actual date at the time when I was designing this I didn't know that the full date yet because we were secretly working with her husband to figure out which day she'd be available and stuff like that but now as you can see i'm just playing around with um the the invite copy um seeing what i can like spruce up i'm thinking obviously the her name can be a different font playing around with my copy and 
yeah let's let's see what what can come out of this Yeah, so I'm going to add a little pathway where the bee was flying um, with dotted lines, I guess. It looks like a pathway. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to use those um, patterns that I've created for the invite. So I'm going to use the honeycomb on top. I th that's where I feel like it would fit the most on the top of the design. So now I'm going to add in the elements that I created earlier, the flower and the circle and the bee and the leaves. Um, this, I guess, is the fun part. It's where you get to play around with the elements and see where they fit so that the design doesn't look too plain, but also has those bee elements, that summery bee element type thing. And I'm just adding that pathway as well and the other little B and the circles around. They're just going to be like added stuff. I think we're done with this. I'm just gonna create like a card that says, that thanks people for coming to the baby shower. It's like a thank you card. It is gonna be a thank you card, yes. <laughs> I'm gonna also play around with the B word. I'm thinking maybe like, thank you for being here. <laughs> so funny. Um, but for real, um, yes, I'm actually going to use that. And then I was thinking of creating like just some cards that hang around the baby shower so i i know people know that at a baby shower but why not i'm just playing around with these b words i like the b words they're so cute 
I also noticed I didn't use the the yellow colors on the invite because these are digital invites the yellow reading yellow digitally is quite difficult so I'm gonna use them for the printable cards that say you had the baby shower and also this one as well because this is also a card that just says hey honeys you're at the baby shower Now I'm just doing the final touches of the baby shower logo. I've decided to use the white background for the printable cards. Um, yeah, the, the elements pop out more on the white when, when it's printed. Yeah, so these are the main elements that will be showing throughout the entire baby shower theme. So it's the flowers, the bees, and the honeys. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed watching this logo design process. It was a fun project to work on and I've created a short reveal video of the brand mother to be. I hope you enjoy and thank you for watching. See you later. Bye.